it's your girl Mary Kay coming to you with a sleigh today. I'm coming to you with a sleigh today. Let the church say subscribe. Okay, y'all. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Today I have three wigs for y'all. I am doing a Janet Collection lookbook. Three affordable wigs. I try to kind of vary them as far as style so we can kind of get a, a little variety. Because different situations call for different wigs. You got your school wig, job wig, graduation day wig, side job wig, Sunday school wig, hustle wig, revival wig, second service wig, winter conference wig, youth Sunday wig, heritage day wig, huh? you got your club wig, who all over that wig, Zoom meeting wig, your family reunion wig, girls night out wig, one to the store wig, okay? <laughs> so yeah let me just show you the wigs real quick all three of these are from janet collection they also sent me this wide tube comb thank you janet i may use it today and these are from their melt line this first one is i think it's i don't know if it's bo 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 day bo day is it bo day somebody i'm just gonna show you the tags on them this is missy not i can't stand the rain missy this the other one this one is yeah, yeah. Y'all know I was gonna get me a OET 1B30. Y'all already know that. That is the color that I'm going to be rocking with this wig. And yes, you do have to say the whole thing like a pimp named Slickback. OET 1B30. That's it. That's all. Bam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just go ahead and style these wigs. And I'm gonna be giving my thoughts along the way. Don't go nowhere. You can press pause. Go on, get you some water or some orange juice or something. Get you a mimosa. Whatever you're going to get, go ahead and get it. Come on back for second service. Because some of y'all be trying to skip second service. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, y'all. Let's do this. All right, y'all. Let's get into this first wig. This is an extended part lace front wig. I have the color 1B. Now, the price will vary depending on the color. There's Swiss lace here. Uh, it has the adjustable strap. It has three combs. They do say that you can curl it and straighten it, but don't go above 380 degrees, okay? That's what they say, so don't get too ignorant on the heat. I like to use a wax stick, you guys, because it kind of gets those baby hairs in line, and I can really see what I'm working with with that hairline, because y'all know I'm like Moses' niece. When it comes to that part, my part has to be part-tabulous fabulous okay and i really take my time on that hairline and that part so that way i can get it as natural as possible because listen if i can get it glueless then glueless it will be okay so we have to do some things in order to make that possible and right here i am just pulling the hairs that I do not want there out. And it was very easy on this particular unit. I loved how easy it was. Some units you cannot do that because of the lace and it can cause a hole to develop and you do not want that. Um, so I was uh, really able to get that part really clean quickly, which I love. And here I'm just using my knot eraser to just go ahead and define that part. That's it. That's all. You you guys have seen me cut the lace, you know, a million times. So if you bored with it, I'm just so sorry. But I know it's some new people who may not have seen it. So I, I like to keep things in there just in case. Just in case. Trying to be thorough. The customization for this particular wig was very easy. I had to do very little, you guys. Very little in order for it to get this way. Now I will say I came across a couple tangles when I was brushing through. I like to do that to kind of see what the tangle life is like with certain wigs. And it, it had a few little tangles, y'all. So um, it wasn't anything, you know, ignorant on top of ignorant, but it, 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 it was there a little bit. Once I brushed through it, it was all good though. And again, I'm just making sure I get a nice flat install. You guys, I cut my B and that's just to kind of cut out that line of demarcation between the cap and your forehead. And um, the lace, it's a nice Swiss lace, but it was not meshing with my Cafe Olay. So I just went in with a little bit of foundation and kind of 
blended that in, you know, gave it a little warmth. Put me a couple little baby hairs in the front. Didn't have to do it. Just felt like being ignorant on top of ignorant. That's it, you guys. That's all. I really, really, really like this wig. It turned out so cute. I love the curls. I love the layers. It's giving body. Matter of fact, I don't know if her name is Bodet, but I'm going to call her Body because that's what it's giving. This is Missy in the color 1B. She is also donned with Swiss lace. She's pre-plucked, you guys, so that takes a little bit of the pressure off. You have your two combs along the sides, one in the back, the adjustable strap. Exactly what you would think as far as the construction. So that's cool. Um, right here, again, y'all, I'm just making sure I have a nice crisp part so I don't have to do any melting. That's always going to be my bottom line most of the time, unless I just feel like melting, which is not often, okay? So, again, we're taking the knot eraser. And right here, I'm kind of brushing it in so it's not so dramatic, you know? Sometimes the knot eraser can come with the drama, okay? And we want to make sure that it doesn't come with the drama on our wig. All right? Drama is cool sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. But not when it comes to these wigs, honey. Uh-uh. Not all the time, now. Not all the time. Again, cut and lace. You already know what time it is with that. This actually was super easy to customize. I'm cutting my V right here. Just defining that part a little bit more. Honey, I cut me a few little strands in the front to give it like a bang look. I shook it out, you know, kind of finger fluffed it. And honey, I was Sunday school ready. You hear me? I was wrecked. There was literally nothing else that I had to do. The customization for this particular wig was A1. It was so easy, so breezy. This wig is a plop on and go. Okay, my favorite. <laughs> Last but not least, listen. Now, y'all didn't tell me about Miss Yaya. I had very high hopes for Miss Yaya, okay? I have OET1B30, you guys. The first thing that I noticed, the texture that you see on the card, the stock card, it wasn't there with my wig. It just wasn't. It was a little more straight than what I assumed it would be. And then it kind of went into the bottom curls, okay? So I was already worried about the volume that I wanted versus the volume that I was about to get. I'm y'all building fun. That's 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 where we are, okay? And I don't even know if y'all been tithing enough and in, in adding to the building fund to even make this work out. Yeah. Um. You know what? Honestly, I believe if I would have gotten a 1B, it would have looked so much better. My ends were a little bit dry, y'all. The, the colored part. It, it had a little dry to it. So when I was trying to fluff, it just, it wasn't right. <laughs> it, it was not given what it was supposed to give. So I had to go to a plan B. And y'all, even the plan B was ignorant. So at this point, I was just like, oh my gosh. So I decided to just do a little two-strand twist, tied it back. So, you know, I did like a little half back, the rest forward on the other side. Honestly, you guys, this one just did not work for me. If you guys try it, get a natural color and see if maybe that will work for you. I think that would have made the difference, you guys. If you are a master wig slayer, I'm sure you can slay this wig, all right? Try it and see. Peace, love, light.